How's it going everyone? Welcome back to my Resident Evil 4 Remake Collectibles Guide. This is Chapter 10. So first off, we're going to grab the Merciless Knight Merchant Request. Starting off where Leon spawns in this chapter. We're going to head this way and just on this table is the Merchant Request right there. So dropping back a few steps back here to where the creature's head puzzle thing is. We're going to run around and get rat number three. We picked up this merchant request in the previous chapter. We got the two rats in that chapter, and the third one can only be gotten at this point. When you reach this point, you could wait until you reach this chapter to get all three of them, but we're just going to get them here. Last one. There it is. All right. So next up, we've got the merciless night fight starting again back in the grand hall. I don't want to kind of work collectible to collectible just in case anybody's using timestamps. It's a little more clear as to where you've got to go if I start at a point that is easy to identify, which is why I'm doing that. So next up, I'm going to come down here through this door, swing a left around here, straight down. And pretty much the night is at the bottom of these stairs. Okay, so we're going to take the elevator all the way down. All right, so you'll have the Merciless Knight in this room and two normal knights. This run was being done unassisted, but I also have the fully upgraded Blacktail. So that's a very powerful handgun. But if you're playing on a, any other difficulty, it's probably going to be more difficult to fight these guys. I kind of just want to get rid of these normal knights first. So getting their heads exposed and just chucking a flashbang to get rid of them quickly. And then we need to keep shooting the merciless knight in his weak point until his head pops out. This can take a little bit of time. I was only using a pistol through this run for the most part. I don't have a shotgun or anything like that. You might want to use a more powerful weapon. But one thing to note is that a little bit further into this chapter, there's an achievement for killing the, um, I think it's called the Verdog, Vertigo or something like that. It's the guy that you've got to freeze with the cryogenic shower things, liquid nitrogen showers, whatever they're called. And you want some serious firepower for that fight. Might be worth you getting the rocket launcher, in fact, just for that fight. Because he is super tanky. Alright, but once you've got this guy's head exposed, chuck a flash, make short work of him, get that done. Alright, next up we've got the Golden Lynx treasure. Again, I've backtracked to the Grand Hall. If you're following collectible to collectible, you may not have to go back to here. You just kind of need to go back up that elevator and up the stairs and you can work from there. But uh, assuming you're starting from the Grand Hall, come back through here, down this hallway, keep going, sort of back in the same direction we've already been in, left, around here. And then we're going to go left through this door this time. Okay, and when you're in this area, you'll have a couple of the knights lurking around, so watch out for them. But we're going to go through this door that's kind of opposite the one that you've just come through. It's sort of opposite, a little bit to the left. When you get up here, you need to use the Cubit device to open up this to get this treasure. Let's get that sorted. Here we go. Nice. All right, so next we've got the CQBR assault rifle. Again, starting at the Grand Tour. This one counts as a treasure and a weapon. So make sure you get this one if you're trying to get all the treasures in the game. We're going to head back along the path we've taken a few times now. Under here, back through this door. And around here again, left through the door. Keep going. And we're going to take a right out of the door this time, all the way to the end. I've dealt with these knights, so they're not here, but there may be a couple of knights around for you. Watch out for them. Come up these stairs, and 
<clears throat> the uh, Qubit device can get this open for you. You can buy this weapon from the merchant, but you get it free right here if you're trying to get that achievement for getting all treasures or acquiring all the weapons. It helps out. All right. So next we've got the treasure, which is a ruby. We're in the ballroom. This is where you first get attacked by the bug things, the flying bugs. Just over here to your left, underneath this sort of collapsed area, is a lantern you can bring down for a ruby. In the same area then, the, the uh, ballroom again, we're getting the ornate beetle. We're going to start back here again, sort of by this gate that you pull the switches to open in this area. Come around behind the stairs, all the way around here. Keep going. Hop over this. Let's deal with these bugs. And... In the back corner is a chest that has the ornate beetle in. Okay, moving on from this area then. Next up we've got the treasure, which is an elegant crown. And you can actually use this one to get a achievement or trophy for selling an item that's over 100,000. But you need to get this first and then put the right gemstones in it. And it's down in the depths after you get thrown down here and Leon saves himself. And when you're being attacked by the invisible bugs, you'll come across that. Next up, we've got a yellow herb. Starting back here a few steps where we started a second ago. You will have to come this way uh, along the main story. You have to break this wall right here and squeeze through afterwards. And there's a ladder in this room that takes you up. But in this room, there is a yellow herb right there. All right. Next up, we've got a red barrel treasure. These are worth a ton of money. I think they're the most expensive of the jewels. These and the yellow diamonds are the most expensive ones. All right. So when you get up here, Leon's going to have a little crack moment. But come down here and just on your left, there's a lantern sort of in a little archway right there. It's got the red barrel in it. Sorted. So for this achievement, which is called Astute Appraiser. You need to sell an item that's worth over 100k. So take the Elegant Crown that you just got a little while ago, inlay gemstones. If you're confused as to what things are worth, you can press, I think it's, it's Shift on PC. I'm not sure what it is on uh, Xbox and PlayStation, but you take a look at that and it will basically explain to you what doing certain things with the gemstones are worth. If you put five different colors into it, that's enough to get you the 100k. If you put two yellow diamonds and three red barrels into it, that is actually, I think, the best combination that's worth more. But just getting one of each color um, gets enough for the 100k. Just basically make sure you set it up so that you get that 100k for selling this and you'll get your achievement or trophy. And that's a nice chunk of money. Also, there's an, another achievement coming up soon where you might want to buy the rocket launcher for. It's up to you, but you might want to use that 100k to buy the rocket launcher to make getting an achievement a little bit later a lot easier. But next up, we've got uh, Castellan. 10th one out of 16. Opposite the merchant that's right here through this grate, you can find the Castellan. All right, next up is that achievement or trophy I was talking about. Wave goodbye right hand. So... You have to fight, I forget what, I always forget what this thing is called. I think it begins with a V, but either way, this guy is just super tanky, spongy. He takes forever to kill with normal bullets. So I went ahead and bought the rocket launcher. You only get one bullet with, but uh, yeah, it kills him in one shot. I was trying to just escape and go and get the treasure that's in this area, but he hit me in the back. One thing to bear in mind is that I am, like I said before, this run was done unassisted. So I don't know if he'll take more firepower to get rid of after you've done this. But if you use one of the nitrogen showers, liquid nitrogen showers on him to freeze him up and then hit him with the rocket launcher, uh, he dies in one hit, which is really, really useful. Pretty sure I got hit by him here, which means I got hit by the shower, which is kind of annoying. But once he's frozen up, Slap on the rocket launcher and it'll take him out in one shot. At least it did for me unassisted. I'm pretty sure it's the same on all difficulties. And that makes fighting him a lot easier. He is super, super, super tanky. Probably the most tanky enemy in the game when it comes to normal bullets. If you are going to fight him normally, you'll have to run around and keep freezing him in the showers. And keep shooting him and keep shooting, shooting him until he dies. Uh, but that does take a lot 
of ammo. I remember on my first playthrough, I did it and it took me a ton of ammo. That's a much easier way to get it done right there. All right, so next up, we've got uh, a yellow diamond treasure, the last one of chapter 10. So open up this and you'll have a couple of cutscenes with the elevator arriving and stuff like that. But yeah, follow along to get that yellow diamond. Like I said, this is the last one of the chapter. I hope these guides are helping you out. Sorry for the delay a little bit. Kind of been very busy at the moment, but uh, I'm doing my best to get them out for you guys. Again, hopefully these guides are helping you out. Let me know in that comment section if they are. The playlist is linked around in the description. It should be on screen towards the end of the video as well. Have yourself a great day. And until next time, take it easy.